big to be made, but we can make a small model of it. Hi guys, my name is Meg and I have a two part video about the solar system. We're going to be doing some arts and crafts and you will be also learning some facts. Let's get ahead with the first part. To make the solar system model, you need a very big carton, some black and brown chart paper, poster colors, brushes and a palette, some glue, to spray some pins, cotton, chemical balls of different sizes, some play-doh, crumple of newspaper, yellow colored paper and some friends to help you make it. Yay! We'll start by making the sun. The sun is in the center of our solar system. It takes up 99% of the whole solar system. That's big! Even though it's an average sized star, we can fit 1 million Earths inside it. We can't make the sun that big because it won't fit in our carton. So we're just gonna make a small teeny weeny part of it and stick it to the side. To make the sun, I'll be using some crumpled up newspaper, some fericol and some yellow sheet of paper. But I'll also be needing an assistant. Yeah, can I help? I can help. Okay, Carlos, but try not to get stuck with the glue. What is that? Somebody on this paper is getting to my mouth. Cuddles, that's what I meant. The sun is made up of superheated hydrogen and helium gases. At the center of the sun, hydrogen atoms, under the pressure of gravity, go through nuclear fusion <gasps> and get converted into helium. This process generates a lot of heat, thus making the sun's radiation hit us in the form of sunlight. The sun is the main source of life on Earth. Plants use sunlight for photosynthesis. By the way guys, if you want to know more about sunlight, please watch our video on light. Now we'll put the yellow paper on top of it. We're going to stick it to the side of our solar system, but a little later. Now we'll be making our planets out of thermocol balls. The two big ones will be Jupiter and Saturn. The medium ones will be Uranus and Neptune. And the smallest ones will be Venus and our planet Earth. Wait, there are only six balls over here. We've forgotten Mercury and Mars. Well, they're too small, so we'll just make them out of clay. Let's start with Mercury, because it's the closest planet to the Sun and the smallest. Mercury has an iron core, well, we can't make an iron core right now, and it has a rocky surface. Mercury spins faster around the sun than any other planet in about 88 Earth days. That means one year on Mercury is just 88 days. That means in one Earth year, there's four Mercury years. So if I am four years old on Earth, I'll be 16 years old on Mercury, right? Yes, cousins, and you'll also be first burnt and then frozen. Because the side facing the sun is very hot, about 800 degrees. And the side away from the sun is about minus 300 degrees. That's hot and cold. <laughs> okay guys, now let's make and talk about Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, although it's the hottest. This is because constantly there are clouds over Venus which are made of mostly carbon dioxide. These clouds keep in the heat of the sun. It's like a big greenhouse. Venus has a rocky surface, long rivers of molten lava, and many volcanoes. Venus is called the morning star or the evening star because just before sunrise or sunset, Venus is the brightest object in the sky. Venus is also called Earth's sister planet because it is similar in size and gravity. The only difference is that water is not found on Venus. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Yeah, I'm hot baby! Fun fact guys, a day on Venus is 243 Earth days long. But one year is just 225 days. Wow, Venus is very special. Venus also spins in the opposite direction to all the other planets. The next planet after Venus is Earth the third rock from the sun. Earth has many special features that make it unique from the others. First, Earth contains life, like me, Cardinals and Neonis. Yeah, I'm an Earth. Yes, I'm an Earth too. I'm an Earth. Guys, you could exist. 
exist on any planet. Planets are still part of the solar system. Bye!